But Easterbont wanting to try and attack after one of the cobble sectors and really try and shake things up. He was never really allowed off the leash and bingo, they having had a rider in the breakaway earlier on in the day, they wanted to try and send another of their riders to try and bridge across to this gap. Inside the final 30 kilometers, Olivia, uh, Olivier Godfroyd was distanced by his teammate. And this was the moment heading into the final 24 kilometers where a large crash happened due to the traffic calming measures on the road. Many riders, many teams who were involved in that crash, one of those being Jonas Rijkaard, the Belgian rider of Alpes Interkerning. That was his day done and then sadly had to abandon the race. With 15.7 kilometers remaining, Frank van den Broek, he had a, a very strong advantage, still just under that one minute marker. Consequently, was caught into the final six and a half kilometers as they approached that final uh, penultimate cobble sector of the day. And Unowex, despite having all the control in the lead into the final few kilometers, Jesper de Boist opened things up early with 400 meters to go, providing the perfect launch pad as Jesper Phillipson on the right hand side started to come round, holding the barriers, taking the sprint ahead of Caleb Ewan and Fabio Jakobsen. Erlen Blickra of Unowex settling for fourth place, heading into Bruges alongside the canals. This is what it's done to the Lotto Cycling Cup classification. Caleb Ewan extends his lead in that classification to 44 points. Gerben Thiessen with 40 points. Timothy Dupont with 33. Hugo Hofstetter in fourth. Giacomo Nizzolo in fifth. Milan Menton moves down, having not scored today into sixth place. Timo Kielik take, uh, is in seventh. Sam Wellsford in eighth. Florian Vermeersch in ninth. And Jakob Moreczko holds on to a top 10 so far.